Gulch County, it's a special CMSN presentation of He is Risen. Featuring Gospel Bill, Nicodemus, Barkamaeus, Miss Lana, and special guest, David Ingalls. And now, here's the sheriff, Gospel Bill. Well, howdy, and welcome to Gospel Bill's Easter Special. I'll tell you what, we're going to have fun celebrating the most exciting event that's ever happened in the history of all mankind, talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, when Jesus was raised from the dead, more of God's power was put to work than at any other time in history. Now, somebody said, now, wait a minute, Gospel Bill. It took a lot of power to create the world, but... When God created the world, there was nobody against it. There was nobody there to fight Him or nobody there to oppose it. But when God raised Jesus from the dead, you see, every devil, every helper that Satan had, every power of evil in the universe was concentrating all of its strength in holding Jesus in that grave. But I want you to know that God's power was more than enough to bring Jesus back to life and to raise Him from the dead. And the Bible says that same power that was in Jesus is in us. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. That's what we're going to be celebrating today. And no matter where you're watching, in church or in your home, you can just join right in with us and worship God and find out what Easter really means. You know, it's more than just a time to go out and hunt eggs or to have fun at church. It's a time to, to come together and to thank God for what He did for us when Jesus was raised from the dead. You see, if Jesus had only died on the cross, if that's all He'd done, we'd be in trouble today. He had to be raised from the dead because Jesus was raised from the dead. We too someday will be raised from death. And if you have a grandmother or grandfather or someone who's close to you, a loved one who went ahead and they're dead, they, they're not living now, uh, the Bible says those people really aren't dead. They're really asleep. And because Jesus was raised from the dead, they too are going to be raised from the dead someday. They're going to come back to life and they'll live forever. If they've got Jesus inside them, they'll live forever. So that's what the resurrection means. And it, it doesn't just affect a few people. It affects everybody. The resurrection of Jesus Christ affects us all. And thank God for it. Well, right now we're going to go out and have a time of worship and praise. And as we worship and praise the Lord, I want you to lift up your heart and just sing to the Lord and just let Him know how much you appreciate the resurrection of Jesus. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good to see you all today. Listen, can we talk... Uh, let me come up a little closer. See, the Bible says over in Psalm chapter 8 and verse 2 that when we praise the Lord, we bind up the devil. That means we tie him all up. And when you got the devil tied up, he can't bother you no more. That's the purpose of praising the Lord. So as we sing this morning, I want you to think about that. We're tying up the devil so he can't bother you anymore. And I want you to sing real loud and real good, especially because of that. Now, on this first song this morning, in fact, let me go back here and get all fixed up. We need to get our chairs. We don't want you to stand up yet, but stay sitting down. And Barkamaeus is going to help me with this song, you see. Everybody stay seated. How you doing, Barkamaeus? Great, great, great. Good to see you this morning. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> and we're going to see who can sing the loudest between the boys and the girls, right? And, and the girls are going to sing with me, and the boys are going to sing with you. And when you sing, you need to stand up. We're going to go through it once, you see, so everybody know how to do it. Won't be any mistakes. So this is a little practice run. And the girls go first like this. <gasps> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And then the boys. Praise ye the Lord. And then the girls again. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Boys. Praise ye. Lord. That's good, that's good. And then the girls, praise ye the Lord. Boys, hallelujah. Girls, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. And then everybody sing together. Praise, praise ye the Lord. All right. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to try it now. The girls, now I want you to sing really loud. This is who can sing the loudest. You ready? Sing real loud, girls. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Boys. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Come on, girls, really sing it now. Praise ye the Lord. Boys. Hallelujah. Girls, praise. 
Think won that the boys, of course. I think they did too. We're gonna try it again. And and girls, you really sing like boys first. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, girls. The Lord. Boys. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Man, it's no doubt about it. Who? The girls wiped them out there. I time. know it. Yeah, girls, give yourself a big hand. Yeah, and oh, man, that's good singing. Now that y'all warmed up, I want you to really sing loud on this next song. Fellas, y'all and Keen ready to go? Uh, oh, boy. In fact, let's clap our hands like this and sing. Praise him. Praise him. We're going to praise him in the morning. And praise him at the noon time. Praise him. We got to praise him. I praise him when the sun goes down. I serve him. We're gonna serve him. Serve him in the morning. And serve him in the noon time. Serve him. Serve him. Oh. Serve him when the sun goes down. You got to thank him. You got to thank him. Thank him. Oh, thank him in the morning. Thank him in the noontime. Thank him. Thank him. Oh, thank him when the sun goes down. I want to really hear it on praise him one more time. Praise him. Praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noon time. Praise him, praise him, him. praise him when the sun goes down. Yeah, speed it up a little bit, boy. Just, just speed it up a little bit now. Let's, let's all clap our hands again a little bit faster. Really want to hear you sing now. Wonderful, wonderful. The Prince of Peace, mighty God is He, saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise Him. Watch the words at the bottom of the screen and sing real loud. Jesus is to me, Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He's saving me, He's keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. praise this morning. I want you all to lift your hands up. Just lift your hands up and just praise the Lord. Say this with me. Say, thank you, Jesus. Hey, that was great singing. Now you can all be seated. You know, there are times as Christians we're attacked by the devil. You see, the devil is responsible for all the tests and the troubles and the trials that come against us. In fact, the Bible says many are the tests and troubles and trials of the righteous. But there's something good about that verse. It says, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. Now, you know, when Jesus was on that cross, it looked as though he was going to be completely defeated by the devil. Because it was the devil who stirred up all of those people to have Jesus crucified. Those men who screamed for Jesus to be nailed to the cross were, were screaming because Satan was using them to try to kill and destroy Jesus and take his life away. Well, it looked as though that Jesus lost the battle because he was taken and nailed to the cross. 
what the devil and his crowd didn't know was they were walking right into a trap that God set. You see, because Jesus died on the cross, he paid for all of the sins of mankind. That is, Jesus, who never did anything wrong, was taken from, from his place of prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he was put on that cross for something he didn't do. So the devil was wrong when he put Jesus on the cross. Well then, because Satan did that, God said, All right, Mr. Devil, you've taken my son who never sinned, now, I'm going to take all of your people, all of them who want to join my kingdom and become my children. They all can now because my son Jesus paid for their sins. You know what? When things look tough and it looks like we're going to lose a big battle and the enemies come against us, we need to look up and look at God's Word because we can find that God's Word always has the answer and we can always come out on top of our problem. Jesus was dead, but not forever, just for three days and three nights. And then God raised Him from the dead. You know what? You may be in trouble too, but I'll tell you this. Your trouble won't last forever because if you trust in God, He'll turn the trouble around and cause you to be a winner. Now, there were these folks who lived in Israel a long time ago. They had a good king named Jehoshaphat, and all of them served the Lord and loved God, and they had a real attack from the devil, but they found out how to trust God, and we're going to see what happened to them right now. Hey, hey, come here. I want to read you a story out of Second Chronicles chapter 20 about King Jehoshaphat and how he defeated his enemies. Wait, I got a better idea. Let's all close our eyes and go there right now. Came a knock on the door, the royal palace of the king. It startled old King Jehoshaphat who was uh, sitting on his throne so much he just yelled out, uh, Come on in! You see, Jehoshaphat was a very good king. He loved the Lord with all he had. And because of this, all of Judah was blessed throughout the whole land. Well, that servant, he just came busting into the palace. So excited he could barely talk. He said, K -k -k King, we in big, big trouble. Oh, let me tell you what I just saw. I'm feeling that your God is in you. Hear not, just praise the Lord. We'll fight your battles for you. There's nothing that he won't do. But you must fear not. Uh, that fella said, uh, King, out in the Syrian plains, there are soldiers far as you can see. And they got spears and swords and horses and knives down at the sea by En Gedi. Well, there's more bats and Ammonites and all kinds of ites and kings. This don't look like no social call, huh? We're outnumbered about a hundred to one. I'm afraid they're gonna kill us all. Oh, King Jehoshaphat commenced to get my mighty scared. Then he called all the people to pray. And God said, you won't even need to fight in this battle. Just stand still and see salvation today. Fear not. Next morning, they got up real early. Old King Jehoshaphat ha had the strangest plan. He said, instead of putting the, the army out front like we usually do, we gonna put the band. So the drums kicked it off like this, man. Could I have a little bass guitar now? Yeah. Yeah, they started moving a little bit then. Uh, uh, could I have a little guitar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they started walking down the road, and they were starting to feel a little better. And then the orchestra came in playing. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, then the choir started singing something like this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the 
Anything from Parson Trotter? I sure have. I just got a wire, and he's coming. He's going to be able to make it to our special Easter service? He sure is, and oh, he's going to sing and preach. This is great, Miss Lana. You know what? There's nobody in the whole world who can sing like Parson Trotter. And there's no one who can preach like him either. That's the truth. Now listen, if Parson Trotter's coming, we've got to let folks know about it. Uh, we got to advertise this meeting. This is special. Now let's see. We can, we can run an ad in a newspaper and we can put out some handbills, and I'll get old Nicodemus and Barkamess to help me pass them out. Maybe they can get him right out in the country and let the folks who live out there know he's coming. That's a good idea, and I'll take care of all these meals. All right, that'll be a good thing, Miss Lena. Listen, I'm gonna go get on this. I'll see you later. Okay. Well, now, y'all are just the fellers I need to see. Why is that, GB? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, old Parson Trotter's coming to town on Easter Sunday. Parson Trotter, praise the Lord. All right. He's going to sing and preach. That's now, listen, great. we got to get the word out on this. We got to let yeah. everybody in the county know he's coming. Now, I've been thinking, we got to do the right kind of advertising. Now, Barkamess, you run down to the newspaper office uh -huh. and find out what it'll cost us to put an ad in the paper and to get some handbills printed. All right, I'll do it right now. I'll Meet see me you. at the jail in 15 minutes. All right, all right. Now, Nicodemus, we got to send word out to everybody who lives on a farm or ranch in Dry Gulch County. Yeah. Now, you go organize some volunteers who ride out and carry the word for us, okay? Uh, I can sure do that. All right, meet me in 15 minutes at the jail 15 now. 15 minutes at the jail. All right, we'll see you later. Sheriff! Sheriff! Where is he? Oh, I've got to see him now. Jim? What is it? Sheriff, every cow I had on that north pasture's gone. Now, wait a minute, Jim. Now, your fence isn't down, is it? No, Sheriff. They've been stolen. They've been rustled. There are tracks everywhere out there. Now, Jim, we hadn't had cattle rustlers in Dry Gulch County for better than two years now. But if you think that's what it is, well, I'll oh, ride out yeah, there and Sheriff, take a look. please. I've got to get those cows back. If I don't, I can't make my bank payment. Well, come on. I'll go take a look. Miss Lana, I'm not going to be able to help you get the word out on that Easter service. Well, why not? Somebody rustled every head of cattle Jim Spencer had in his north pasture, and I got to go check on it. Well, I think you better look at this. From the sheriff of Dripping Springs County. Why did they have to do that? Well, well do you think that's the same bunch? I don't know. They killed a cowboy over a few head of steers. Well, I gotta go right up there and check into this. Well, you be careful. Oh, I will, Miss Lennon. Now listen, see Nicodemus for me and tell him to put on a badge and kind of watch over things while I'm gone. I'll do it. I'll take care of it. I'll be back for the Easter service now. Okay. You know, we just crossed over into Dry Gulch County. So what if we did? Don't fret about it. But I heard that that sheriff catches every cattle rustler comes into his county. Well, he ain't gonna catch these cattle rustlers because I've got a plan for him. Clem White, 
Why did you have to shoot that cowboy? What else was I supposed to do? He came right in the camp before we knew it while we was changing brand on those cattle. Besides, he's dead and there won't be any witnesses. But I wish this trip wouldn't have to be so bloody. <gasps> Who do you think that could be? Look. I don't know, but he sure knows in our trail awful close. You don't suppose it could be that sheriff? I don't reckon, but... Millie! Millie! Go down there and see who that is. And stay under cover, too. Oh, no. It is the sheriff. I better go tell Connie Clem. To get. Hoss, we're on the right trail. <clears throat> I don't know about you, John, but I'll tell you, I'm really excited that we started to follow Jesus. Yeah, me too, Peter. I'll tell you, it's the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. Yeah, it's great to know that you're really helping someone get their needs met. That's what Jesus does. Yep, he meets needs, no matter how great they are. Uh, isn't that something? That fellow a while ago was blind. I mean, Jesus made him to see. He sure did. The guy had never been able to see in all of his life, but now he can, thanks to Jesus. Oh, it's so fun to follow Jesus. I mean, there's a miracle every day. Yeah. Oh, do you believe what everybody says about him? Do you believe he's really the Son of God? I believe he's the Son of God, for sure. He's not just a prophet. We've had prophets before. Yep, you're right. But there's something special about Jesus. There's something really special about him. Yep, he is God's Son. I'm glad we became his disciples, John. This is great. This is great. Awful fresh. Well, there looks to be about four of them. Come on. Miss Lena, have you seen Gospel Bill? He was supposed to meet me 15 minutes ago. Well, Nicodemus, he's up in the northern part of the county. He's looking for cattle rustlers. Seems like they had some cattle stolen up there. Cattle rustlers? And we got word that there was a cowboy shot up in Dripping Springs, and we think it may be the same bunch. A cowboy shot? <sighs> but what are we going to do about promoting this special Easter service, Miss Lena? Well, Nicodemus, we'll just have to do it ourselves. Gospel Bill's not going to be here. Mm. And he wants you to put your badge on and watch the town while he's gone. Ooh, be the deputy sheriff while he's gone? Well, that means i got to promote the Easter service and then be the deputy sheriff of the town while Gospel Bill's gone. I reckon I can do both those things. See you later, Miss Lena. Okay, Nicodemus. Oh, I wonder where they're at. Oh. Hey, hey, Nicodemus, where's Gospel Bill? We've got to plan the special Easter service. Barkamas Gospel Bill is not going to be here. What? See, seems like there's some rustlers on the prowl and Gospel Bill went to look for them. Rustlers? Yeah, some cattle rustlers. Hey, there was even a feller shot over in Dripping Springs County. Oh, you think Gospel Bill will be all right? Oh, yeah, Gospel Bill's able to take care of himself. He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Uh, well, who's going to plan the special Easter service? Well, me and you are. We're, we're going to get it all organized. We can take care of it. All right, But we got to right. do something else first. What? I got to take over for Gospel Bill. I got to get deputized. Oh. Just a second. I got my badge. Yeah, I got your badge. And, yeah. And uh, my gun. Gun. Let's see. What else do I need? Oh, oh, my bullet. Yeah. Where is that? Get over there. I told you that sheriff would be on our trail. Don't you fret it, woman. We'll take care of him. How many sheriffs do you see out there? One. Mildew, how many do we have in our gang? There's, um... There's six of us! You stupid idiot! Can't you count? There's not six of us. There's only five. Clem, don't ever let them count the cattle or the money. But I say unto you, love your enemies. 
Listen to this Jesus fellow teach. He's teaching the most ridiculous things I ever heard. Love your enemies. Yep, love your enemies. That is stupid. I hate my enemies. In fact, I don't even like some of my friends. Ha ha, this Jesus. Ha, he's a false prophet. That's what he is, a false prophet. He's leading all the people away. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. And I'm thinking of a way to get rid of him. But how are we going to do that? I don't know. But maybe, maybe we can find some slip up somewhere, something that he does wrong, and we'll get him in trouble. I'd like to see him nailed to the cross. You mean you don't believe in his miracles? Of course not. The miracles are phony. They're fake. No, wait a minute. Well, what about the blind men? I don't care. Even if one or two are real, most of them are fake. This Jesus guy, he's got to be a magician or something, but he's not from God. He can't be. If he were from God, he would join our club. Yeah, you're right. That's right. If he did come from God, he would want to join our club. That's right. And anybody who doesn't join our club can't be from God. We've got to think of a way to get rid of this guy. I want to see him nailed to the cross. But when thou doest... Well, look like that sheriff picked up a trail again. Guess we're going to have to shoot him this time. Clem, do we have to have any more bloodshed this time? Yeah, Kate, I'm afraid so. If we don't shoot him, we're going to sure get caught. Ready? Hey. Looks like you got him, Clem. See all that fretting woman? I told you we'd take care of that sheriff. Mueller, get me his hat. <laughs> Look like I got me a new hat. Come on, gang, let's go take a sis of the dry gulch now. Thank you, Mr. Smith, and you have a good day. Just about anything we want to, lady. Uh, Clem, if they have any of that sweet smelling perfume, you think I could have some? Sure, Kate. If they've got some, you can have all you want. Uh, lady, you serve coffee here. Well, yes, I do. Well, how much is it? It's five cents a cup. Well, how much are the refills? Well, they don't cost anything. Good, I'll have one of those refills. Well, now let me Shut just up, tell lady, you. And you won't get hurt. Millie, you stay here and watch that lady. Don't you let her get out of your eyesight, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, let's go do it. <laughs> Boy, Clem, this sure is a nice bottle of perfume. Hold on right there, doggy. Uh, uh, what, what, what? Where are you going? Well, I'm going in to see Miss Lana. Oh, you are, are you? Yeah. Is there any law around this town? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's Gossip Bill. He's the best sheriff around. We already know about him. Is there any others? Well, of course. There's Nicodemus, his deputy. Where's he at? Well, he's over the jail. Hey, that hat you're wearing, it looks like gospel, it is Gospel Bill's hat. Mind your own business. Oh. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, there's something, there's something fishy about those people. I better go tell Nicodemus right now. Drop! Water, eat your heart out. Nicodemus, Nicodemus, 
I what just is saw it? these suspicious people down by the general store. Oh, they were really mean, and they were asking me all kinds of questions about the law in this town. Oh, oh yeah, well, oh, I'll go take yeah. care of them right oh, wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, and they've got Gospel Bill's hat, too. Gospel Bill's hat? Yeah. Uh, uh, are uh, you sure? Yeah, I saw it with my own two eyes. Oh, what happened to Gospel Bill, Nick? Uh, what happened? Uh, Barker oh, no. Man, settle down, settle down. Oh, now, listen, uh, uh, Gospel Bill's a big, big boy. I'm sure he can oh, take care of himself. Oh. But, but I wonder how they got his hat. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. The sheriff's been shot. Lord, Gospel Bill's a friend of mine. And it says in your word with long life that you'll satisfy us and show us your salvation. I lay my hands on Gospel Bill in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I say, live. I say, death, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Live, Gospel Bill. Live in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Huh, I'm sleepy. Oh, really sleepy. Huh. John, John, wake up there. Hey, John. Yeah, what is it, Peter? I think we better get up. I think Jesus has been praying for a long time. Uh, how long do you think he's been praying? I don't know. I was asleep. Well, I think he wanted us to pray with him. Uh, we let him down. Uh, I couldn't help it, man. I mean, I, w I was so sleepy after eating that big supper and all. Yeah, you know, Jesus was different tonight, Peter. He really was. I've never seen him act like that before. Oh, well, don't worry about Jesus. He always takes care of himself. He'll be okay. Uh, nothing could ever happen to Jesus. Hey, you hear that noise? What is that? Where's that coming from? Well, I don't know. Sounds like a mob of soldiers. Well, what are they coming up here for? I don't know. Who does this guy think he is? Says he's God's son. Tells us that he's going to tear down the temple and build it again in three days. Hogwash. He deserves to be crucified. Tell me, who is it that you seek? We're looking for Jesus of Nazareth, that's who. I am he. Did you see that? When Jesus told him his name, they went backwards and fell on the ground. Yeah, I could really feel the power of God when that happened. Oh man, why didn't Jesus run away? They were on the ground, he had a chance to escape. Who are those guys? I think some of them work for the high priest. I've seen them at the temple before. Well, what do they want? Hey, there's Judas. What's Judas doing over there? I don't know. Listen. He pulled some hocus pocus on us. That's what he did. That's how he knocked us down. We'll show him a thing or two. I ask you again, who is it that you seek? I said we're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. I told you, I am he. Wow, look at that, Peter. They all fell on the ground again. Yeah, I know. The power of God knocked those men down. That's so Jesus could escape. Jesus, get up, get out of there. He's not going anywhere, Peter. What's going on? I don't know. There's something fishy happening here. Look, there's Judas. What's he doing there? He's giving Jesus a hug. Well, what do you think is going on? I don't know. Those guys are going to try to grab Jesus and take him away. Oh, Peter, we got to stop this. Yeah, I can't let this happen. I'm not going to let it happen. Here comes Peter to the rescue. Ah, he cut my ear off. That guy cut my ear off. That disciple did. Watch out, guys. They got swords. Ah, my ear. It's healed. Look, the man healed my ear. Ah, it's another one of his tricks. Come on, guys. Let's take him down and have him crucified. Barkamas. I don't know how those folks got Gospel Bill's hat, but I know one thing. What? What? I'm the deputy sheriff in this town. Yeah. I got my gun. Uh-huh. I got my badge. Yeah. I got my bullet right here. Yeah, right there. Let's go down to that general store right uh -huh. now. Yeah. And let's check this out. Come on, Barker Mess. Let's, let's go, go back oh, oh, into the oh, jail. Oh, All right, Debbie. Now. Got the gun. Uh, now. Uh, that's the uh, uh, That's the uh, You're the dog in the uh, cell. Why? Uh, 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 get the keys and lock them up. Uh, I don't know who you are, fella, but I want to know something. How come you got Gospel Bill's hat on? Gospel Bill ain't gonna need his hat no more. What do you mean by that? We shot him and he's dead. Shot him? 
He's dead. Oh, no. Yeah. Why, you know damn low, good dog, good as farmer. We're out of this town now. Shut up. Uh, oh, no. Do you think that, do you think Uncle Bill's dead? I don't know, Barker Mays. Oh, no. He's got oh, his hat on. I mean, oh, no. uh, it oh. don't look good. Oh. What if he is dead? I think Uncle Bill's dead. Uh, what are we going to do with that Gospel uh, Bill, Barker Mays? Oh, no. What if he's dead? Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. no. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Muley, um, every day I take some vittles over to the jail, and do you suppose your boss would mind us taking some, taking these over there right now? Clem told us not to leave the store. Uh, but Mr. Muley, if I don't take them over there, they're gonna think something's funny, and then they may send the deputy over here to look for me. Well, all right, but now don't you try anything. Oh, oh thank you, Mr. Muley. Clem, I've been a-thinking. It's been a long time since we've had a meal. You know, we've been on the run and on the trail and everything, and I was wondering if you'd take me down to that cafe just down the street and have a nice hot meal together. Please. Well, okay, Please. Katie. That sounds like a good idea. Mildew, you're the deputy now. You keep your eye on them. I can do it, Clem. I can do it. I got them covered. They ain't going nowhere. I got them covered. You guys ain't going to move. I got you covered right now. I got you covered. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I can't believe they did this to Jesus. Oh. Some days I just don't like being a soldier. Ah, don't let these crucifixions get to you. What this one does, I don't know why, but I don't think that guy is supposed to be up on that cross. Now, don't let it get to you, man. We've already done 10 crucifixions this month. This is just another one. Think of it that way. I can't think of it that way. Every time I look at that guy, I just think there's something special about him. I don't think he should be up on that cross, that's all. Ah, you're just superstitious. You really don't believe he's the son of God, do you? I don't know. I've been thinking about that. Ah, he's just a magician. But he's done some wonderful things, all of them tricks. Now, wait a minute. I heard about a blind man, a man who couldn't see. I mean, he was born blind. This man made him to see. You believe that stuff? You believe all those tales you've heard? They're just rumors. No, I don't think so. I think it's true. I think this man has the power to do miracles. Well, if he's got the power to do miracles, why doesn't he come off that cross? I don't know. It was strange. He almost acted like he wanted to go to this cross. Nah, nobody wants to go to the cross, man. This guy, he's just a fake. He got caught. Now, don't worry about it anymore. Just relax. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Did you hear that? No ordinary man would have said that. No ordinary guy could have said that at all. Now, wait a minute. He's just another phony. He deserves this crucifixion. I don't think so. I really do believe that he's who he says he is. I, I think he's the one that God sent to save the world from their sins. Ah, I'm not going to hang around you if you're going to talk like that. That's just hopeless superstition. Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Surely this man was the Son of God. Now, now, now I'm just going to take this food in here. Now, I'm... What are you doing here? I'm the new deputy. Uh, who are you? And what are you doing here? Well, I just was going to bring some Nicodemus, Mark a man. What Ms. are Lana. you doing in here? Oh, Miss Lana, it's terrible. These fellas have taken the jail over. Yeah. And that's not the worst of it, Miss Lana. Gospel Bill is dead. Dead? Yeah. yeah. Dead. Well, how do you know that, Nicodemus? Oh, Miss Lana, there's this fella that was wearing his hat, and he said he shot him out on the prairie, and Miss Lana, Gospel Bill is dead. What are we going to do? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. That's enough. Muley, what are you doing here? I'm the deputy in this sheriff's office. Well, you're supposed to be deputy over in the general store, and then you just get, get, Muley, get out of here. Oh, no. Gospel Bill. <laughs> Old Dr. Crime Woman, good night. It was just a sheriff. <laughs> I just can't believe that Gospel feels dead. Miss Lana. <laughs> gospel Bill. Get him to stand right here. Oh, 
Mr. Muley, uh, I see that you're a mighty fine-looking man, and, and that hat just doesn't do you justice. And I have some new ones here. Would you like to try one on? Yeah, it is kind of trail-worn. Here you go. Where do you want me to stand? Uh, right here, right here by oh, this yeah. black oh, curtain. Yeah. That's good. Here, try this brown one. Oh, yeah. mm, no, Mr. Muley, that's no, not you. No, no, that's no, 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 that's not you. Here, try this. this. Here you go. There. Yeah. No, 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 no Mr. Muley. No, no, no that, that's too big. Here, try this red one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Muley, that's you. I'm really gonna miss Gospel Bill Barking, man. Yeah, me too. Remember those great heart-to-heart -heart talks we used to have in the jail? Yeah, I loved them. <laughs> Remember that awful coffee you used to make? Yeah, it was terrible, but the company was good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Nick, remember all the times you played checkers with Grosselville? Yeah. Oh. Uh, what? Wait what, a minute. What's that? What's going on? Hey, it's Gospel Bill! Yeah. Gospel Bill is alive! Uh, it's Gospel Bill! Bill. He's out here! Uh, hey, well, well, what's going on over there? What's uh, going on? Just a friend of mine passing passing by out here. Uh, yeah, darling, you looking real good today. It's good to see you. Girls! Yuck! All they want you to do is bathe and smell pretty. Yuck! Now listen, Nicodemus. Yeah. You got to get that guy to put his head outside that window. Uh, oh, yeah, darling, I like your new dress real good. Now, listen, tell him that Miss Lana has a pie for him outside that window. Yeah. Oh, okay, honey, yeah, I'll be seeing you when I get out of jail. Bye-bye. Hey, Mildew, <laughs> Miss Lana's outside the window, and she's got a pie for you. A, a pie? Yeah, for you. A pie? What kind of pie is it? What kind of pie is it? Head out here and smell it. Uh, what, what kind of pie is it? It's a headache pie. Uh, what's a headache pie? You'll find out. <laughs> Hold it right there, buddy. Will, what do you think? Ah, it's another beautiful morning. You know, I love early morning guard duty. Yeah, me too. I think it's my favorite time of the day. Boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a bear. Ha <laughs> ha, I know what you mean. Well, we should be relieved here in uh, a few minutes. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, I guess we can call this night a success. Of course. Nobody dares come to take the body of Jesus away. If they do, they're gonna get stuck with my frog sticker. <laughs> yeah, think of it. Those disciples would try to sneak in here, take his body away, and then go tell everybody that Jesus was raised from the dead. Craziest thing in the whole world. Why would they want to go and do a thing like that? I mean, they ought to leave the guy alone. He's dead. He was crucified. He's never gonna come back to life again. Yeah, not if we can help it anyway. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, you, you, you feel that? What is that? I don't know. The ground is shaking. Uh, it's giving me the creep. Hey, look, it's, it's coming from inside that tomb. It's coming from in there. Ah! That's the best set down dinner I ever had. Yeah, them bills are real good. What'd you think about them taters? Best taters I ever had. And boy, them tomatoes. They must have been homegrown. But what was that stew? Uh, I don't know. It was jailbird stew. It's the sheriff! You were right there, Mr. I thought Dro you was dead. You drop that gun. Drop your gun, lady. And I want you right now to hold still and give me back my hat. You folks are going to jail. Right this way, please. Come on. <laughs> Where did they put it? Why did they take Jesus' body out of the grave? That's what I want to know. Why couldn't they just leave it alone? First, first they nail him to a cross for a crime he didn't commit. And, and then they come and they take his body away. Why couldn't they just leave it here in the grave? Why didn't they just leave Jesus alone? He never hurt anybody. He was the greatest man who ever lived. He healed people who were sick. He blessed people. He even preached the gospel to poor people and told them good news. And now they come and they crucify him and they take his body away. Why did they do that? Uh, Mr. Gardner, sir, if it was you, if you took Jesus' body away, just... Hello, Mary. Jesus, it, it's you! It is you! But, but you're alive, Jesus! I mean, 
Mary, I have risen from the grave. Oh, 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 that's wonderful, Jesus. That's wonderful. Oh. Mary, go tell my disciples. Oh, yes, Lord. I will. I'll tell them. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, oh, Jesus is raised from the dead. Gosh, I sure am glad you're oh, back. Oh, sure yes. Mark oh, oh, that's his sore arm. Oh. You flee back. Don't do that. Oh, Gosh, Bill, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gosh, Bill. Oh, that's all right, Mark Amaze. Just, just kind of watch it, okay? Yeah. Well, everything just turned out great. And Parson Trotter, that is the best sermon I've ever heard. Well, thank you, Miss Lana. Yeah. And, and Parson Trotter, your singing Sunday was just beautiful. Well, thank you. And while everybody's passing out the thanks, Parson Trotter, I got to thank you for coming by when you did. You know, if you hadn't happened on me there, I wouldn't have made it. Mm. And Parson Trotter, Gospel Bill wouldn't have made it. It would have sure ruined our Easter. Speaking of Easter, you know, Easter is what it's all about. It's about life. And you know, when I saw you laying there, I could hardly believe it's the Sheriff Gospel Bill out in the middle of nowhere, just laying there. And you know, it's the name of Jesus that really brought you out. And you know, this came out of my heart with long life, Will our God satisfy us and show us a salvation? And you know it's the name of Jesus that does bring victory over death. That's right. Amen. I told you we shouldn't have come into Dry Gulch County, because that sheriff gets ever cattle rustler that comes into his county. Oh, shut up, woman. Well, if all six of us had hit him when we shot at him. We wouldn't be in this mess. You stupid idiot. Can't you count? There's not six of us. There's only five. You know, we're here in the Texas Panhandle. It's the home of the largest buffalo herd in history. Millions and millions of the shaggies roamed all over these grounds, and they ate their grass and grazed here until they were slaughtered over 100 years ago. You know, the Indians used the buffalo in fact, they used every part of it. They used his hide for their teepees and for their clothes. They used the buffalo hump for the, the shield that the warrior carried into battle. In fact, that buffalo hump could stop a white man's rifle bullet. They used its bones as cooking utensils. They used its tail as a fly swatter. They used every part of that buffalo. And as we celebrate communion, I'm reminded that everything that Jesus had and everything that he was, he gave up so that we could be set free from sin. Just like every part of that buffalo was used, everything about Jesus was given away so that we might have life eternal. You see, Jesus gave both his body and his blood. The Bible says even his soul was made an offering for our sin. And today as we celebrate communion, I want you to stop and think about all the wonderful things that Jesus purchased for you. You see, the Bible says that he spilled his blood to wash away our sin. Our sins are not just covered up, but they're remitted. Remitted means that our sins are washed away. And right now, as we think about this, I want those of you who are going to serve communion, I want you to begin to pass out all of the elements, the bread and the wine. And in just a minute, we're going to celebrate the Lord's Supper together. And we're going to thank God and thank Jesus for what he did for us. You see, Jesus had to give up his blood. He was innocent. He had sinless blood, blood that had never been guilty of anything wrong. Jesus never said a bad word. He never got mad and lost his temper. Jesus never one time disobeyed his mother, even as a child. Jesus never did anything wrong, and for that reason, he was a perfect sacrifice. Because the person who had to die on the cross for our sin had to be someone who had never done anything wrong. And Jesus was the one. He also gave his body to be broken so that we could be healed. You see, before Jesus was taken to the cross, they took his body and beat it and broke it. They hit him with a whip and tore great holes in his back and they put stripes on him so that, so that he could pay for our healing. You see, the men who beat Jesus didn't really realize what they were doing, but when they put the stripes on his back, he was actually suffering in our place. His body was weakened so that we could be healed. In fact, the Bible says in 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes we were healed. So in just a minute as we eat the bread, we're going to remember the body that Jesus uh, uh, gave up for us so that we could be set free from the curse of sickness. 
Right now, as you're preparing to receive your grape juice and you're preparing to receive your bread, I want you to stop and think just for a minute about all the good things that Jesus has done for you. Some of you have moms and dads who love each other now because Jesus came to live in their hearts. Some of you are healed and you have health in your bodies because Jesus came to live in your heart. Some of you now are doing better in school than you've ever done before and it's all because of what Jesus did for you. You see, we need to stop and remember Him. That's what the Lord's Supper is all about. It's about remembering what He did for us and being thankful for all that He did. Because Jesus loved you so much, He gave up everything that He had. You know, when He went to the cross, they took even His clothes away. Jesus didn't have anything. He gave up His body. He gave up all of His earthly possessions. He gave up His blood. He even gave up His soul so that we could be made righteous before God. And that's a whole lot. And I want you just to say right now in your own words, Jesus, I thank you for all that you've done for me. Just bow your head for just a minute and tell Him thanks for all the good things He's done for you. Maybe you got something new in the last few weeks and, and you, you, you haven't thanked God for it. Thank Him for that too. Thank Him for everything that He's done for you because He's been very good to you. And right now while you thank Him, let's, let's thank Him for the blood. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24, the Bible, or verse 25, it says that when we take the blood of Jesus, we're drinking a New Testament, a new covenant. It's the new covenant in His blood. That means that this blood stands for an agreement that we have with God. The agreement is that if we let Jesus come to live in our hearts, His blood will wash away all our sins. And right now, I want you to take that grape juice. You pre prepare to take it right now, and we're going to drink it. And as we do, we're going to think about the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for Jesus' blood. It was shed for us so that all our sins might be washed away. And now, I want you to prepare to take the bread. I want you just to take it, and as you take it and put it in your mouth, I want you to think about how that Jesus' body was broken. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 24 says, This is my body, yours to take it and eat it. It was broken for us, and when we eat it, we're to remember what Jesus did for us. The Bible says, By his stripes we were healed. So as you take the body of Jesus by eating the bread, you're remembering that He took stripes on His back so that you could be healed. And right now, I want to pray. Father, I thank You for what Jesus has done. I thank You for the blood that He shed and His body that was broken and even His soul that was made an offering for our sin. And I thank You, Lord, in Jesus' name for every boy and every girl, every man, every woman who watches this broadcast. And I believe that right now, You're touching their hearts and meeting their needs and most of all, you're causing them to realize what Jesus did for us. And we give you the glory for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. If my people call by my name Will humble themselves and pray And will seek my faith Turn from their wicked ways If my people call by my name Will humble themselves and pray I'll forgive their sin And heal their land Just 
righteousness Father we praise you Lord we praise you we praise you in your presence by Now the devil and all of his crowd thought that they had Jesus beat. They thought because Jesus had been crucified that that was the finish of him. But I want you to know something. God knew exactly what was going on. Jesus was raised from the dead and the devil and all of his forces were embarrassed because they were beaten. And you know what? Jesus wasn't just raised from the dead to, to beat the devil. He was raised from the dead so we could be free from death too. So now's a good time to tell the Lord thanks for all the things he's done for you. Well, 